Hi, welcome to what's happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, as the NMPC mega station in Oka, Anambra State Capital, was close to customers for lack of products yesterday, petrol price hit between 240 naira and 250 naira per litre in Oka and its environs. Most private outlets had products but sold above the regulated price of between 180 naira and 190 naira. Chinedu Anyaso, chairman of the Independence Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, said private depot operators are now fully controlling supplies and selling at arbitrary prices without being challenged. At number two, the Federal Executive Council has approved 2.5 billion naira for procuring operational vehicles for the Federal Road Safety Commission. Special advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Femi Adeshina, revealed this when he briefed State House correspondents on the outcome of the Council meeting on Wednesday in Abuja. The contracts for the purchase of the vehicles were awarded to Dangote Pojo Automobile Nigeria Limited and Makaino International Limited. At number three, the Senate on Wednesday asked the federal government to allocate 500 million naira from the service-wide vote to the Federal Road Maintenance Agency for the urgent rehabilitation of roads ravaged by the 2022 floods. The Senate has also directed that the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited Road Infrastructure Tax Credit Scheme should be expanded to cover maintenance of failed sections of federal roads across the country. At number four, the Ghanaian Ministry has disowned a security update advising against non-essential trips to Abuja. The advisory circulating on Wednesday on bearing the name and logo of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration had indicated that Nigeria had directed some hotels to shut down due to high danger of terrorism. In a rejoinder tweet on Thursday morning, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that the statement was unauthorized. The unauthorized advisory followed similar statements by the United States, United Kingdom and others since October. At number five, Kano State House of Assembly on Wednesday approved the 2022 supplementary bill of 55 billion naira for the state. The approval was sequel to the third reading of the bill shortly after adopting the report presented by the Chairman House Committee on Appropriation, Abba Ibrahim, at the plenary presided over by the Speaker, Hamisu Chidari, the lawmaker noted that the supplementary budget was increased from 43 billion naira to 55 billion naira to cater for the State Universal Basic Education Board and other projects. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.